Hi, I'm Lisa Marie. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so much. If you want to craft your best life along with me, let's get started right now. For this Christmas DIY, I've got five corks and I've got a little box cutter and then a little cutting mat. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be making the cutest little train. I found a picture of one on Pinterest, and so I'm just looking at the picture and trying to copy it because <laughs> it was so cute. So the first thing is there is the body of the train and then the, the like tall part, and then I just put the little smokestack on the front. Now I'm gonna cut one of the corks long ways in half, and then I'm gonna trim the sides of that one, and that's gonna go over the top of that piece on the right that's sticking up there. You can see what I'm doing, but I am gonna cut off the sides because it's still a little bit too long. And the other pieces that I already cut off camera are wheels, there's three on each side. And once you have your pieces cut, which is so, so easy, then you just start assembling. And I used hot glue, I could have used E6000, but for the sake of making the video a little more quickly, I decided to use the hot glue. So you will see some here and there. If I was making this like for a gift for someone, I would have used the E6000 and just waited and maybe a dot of hot glue to hold it in place. Because I really don't like that the hot glue shows. So when you make it, don't do the hot glue like I did. Just use a dot and then do E6000 or something else like that. Anyway, now I'm just finishing the assembly, putting that little top piece on, and then I'll add the wheels. This is a super, super easy DIY, and it would be such a cute gift. You could personalize it if you wanted to. I did not do that this time, but you could put somebody's initials, or if it was for a baby or a child, you could put their name on it. Just think of the possibilities. You could dress this up. I went ahead and kept it pretty natural to the cork itself, and then I just am going to add a piece of ribbon on it and a little smoke. And you're gonna see what I did to create the smoke. It's so cute and so easy. You could use cotton also. I ended up just using a little white pipe cleaner. So there's my pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna cut, well first I'm gonna fold it into three little loops, little teeny ones, and then I will cut off the end there. And once I've got it cut, I'm just going to kind of fluff them a little bit and then poke it right into the top. I did have to use a little pokey tool to make the hole because the pipe cleaner bends when you try to put it in. So definitely use something to make the hole. But there it is. So now it looks like I've got a little smokestack coming out of there. And then I've got this really cute red and black um, checked ribbon. And I'm just gonna hot glue it around the main part. It's gonna look almost like that's the compartment for the engineer of the train. And the last thing I'm gonna do is take some twine, wrap it around from underneath, crisscross it so that it, it you know, lays nicely, and then make a knot at the top, and that's it. This could not have been easier. So cute, look at how adorable that is. And just think about all the different ways you could do this. I think it would be a great gift if you made like a set Today's video is part of the monthly friendly collaboration. Our theme is Christmas in July this month. There are so many talented creators and so much inspiration in this playlist, which will be down in my description box, as well as in a pinned comment. The host of our collaboration is Liana DIY, and we have some special guests, the Crafty Quinn, Indiana Jones, and Crafty Kathy. If you are coming over from one of the other channels, Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Back to the video. For this Christmas DIY, I'm gonna use two corks, two black buttons, some yellow, a yellow piece of pipe cleaner, and some more of that ribbon, and the crimson colored chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm gonna paint both sides of my buttons, and then I'm gonna use my heat tool from Amazon to dry it. You know, it's my favorite tool, I say it every time. But if you want any of the tools that I use, you can find them in my Amazon store. And I'm gonna just go ahead and make sure that it's covered a couple times. And then I'm gonna take a pokey tool and make a hole in the top of each of the little corks. And then I'm cutting two little pieces of the yellow and then I'm just gonna shove them in there and then add a little hot glue at the top to secure it. And these are little candles and that is the little fire or the wick. Now, the buttons are gonna be the little candle holders. So you'll see here, I'm just gonna put each cork on the little candle holders. Then I'm gonna snip some of this cute little frosted greenery, and I'm just gonna put little teeny pieces all the way around it in hot glue. No rhyme or reason, just whatever looks good to me. 
and I'm gonna do that to both of them. And then I'm gonna take this little half piece of the ribbon and I'm just gonna make a cute little awareness bow, crisscross it, and I'm gonna use some hot glue because it's so small, it's hard to do this and keep it in place. And then I'm just gonna hot glue in place and I'm gonna take a little bit of twine and make a cute little shoestring bow to, take, to hot glue right over the top of that. And I'll do the same to both candles. You guys, another super easy but a adorable cork Christmas ornament. I absolutely love them. It's like making little miniatures, you guys. It's so much fun. And wait to see how cute they are. Isn't that adorable? And the way I put the twine around it almost looks like it's like a little lantern or it's got a handle. So you can put your, you know, twine on any way you want, but I absolutely love them. If you are enjoying this video, stop what you're doing right now and hit that like button. It really helps YouTube to show my video to more people and I really appreciate it, thanks. For this Christmas DIY, I'm gonna use two corks, some actual rope from the, that's actually, that's from Walmart, a little piece of the ribbon again and a little uh, sparkly ball that came off of a full floral pick from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm just gonna cut these two corks into six pieces and I want them to be relatively the same thickness. I'm not being exact, so you can eyeball this and then you can just trim them up as you need. So there's gonna be three pieces on the bottom, then two, and then one, and now we have a little Christmas tree. And then one last little piece that's a little wider, and that will be the stand or the trunk of the tree. So I'm now gonna hot glue the pieces together. I'll first do the row of three, then I'll add the two and the one, and this, again, another super easy but adorable cork Christmas ornament. By the way, I got all of these corks for free from my stepdaughter. I don't have enough wine in my house to be able to have this many, but she gave me so many. So I can make so many crafts with these, and I love it. I mean, it's almost like trash to treasure. I'm going to take my rope, and I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm just going to hot glue it all the way around. And that just gives the tree a little bit more of a shape and kind of a, a form. When I get to the bottom, I'll cut it off and then hot glue the last little piece. Then I'm going to attach the tree trunk or stand, however you want to look at it, right to the bottom. Again, if you want more security, use E6000. I'm going to take a piece of twine. I'm going to thread it through that top area up there where the rope touches that first little cork piece. And I'm just going to make it go around until it's even. And then I'm going to hot glue the sides and make a knot at the top. And that's my little hanger for this ornament. But it's not quite done yet because the next thing we're going to do is make a little bow. And I'm cutting this ribbon in half because I don't need it to be quite that thick on this little teeny mini ornament. And I'm just going to make another awareness bow, bring down the center, but this time I'm gonna take some twine and wrap it around the middle. And after I've gone around a few times, I will cut it off, tie a knot, I'll trim that, and then I will be able to hot glue that to the very top of the tree. And it's just adorable. I love these little bows and they're so easy to make. They're just so, so cute. So I'm kind of fluffing it, making sure it looks good. And then I'm gonna just, cut the ends at an angle. They're kind of small to do dovetails, but I thought a little angled end would be adorable. And then I'm hot gluing it. And then I'm gonna take my little gold ball and I'm gonna hot glue that right on there. And that's it. Another super easy, adorable Christmas ornament. Like I said, you could easily make a set out of these and give them as a gift. I just think they're so cute and so easy. You'll have to let me know what you think. And have you ever made a cork ornament? If you enjoyed this video and this is your kind of thing, then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can become part of my YouTube family and you'll always be notified when my next video goes live. For this Christmas cork ornament, I am going to take six of the corks. I've got a little wooden star from the Dollar Tree and another little piece that I had gotten somewhere and then some more of that twine and then I have Epsom salts, which by the way, you can get at the Dollar Tree. I just happen to have some from Kroger. And I'm gonna take my Rust-Oleum white linen, linen white chalk paint, and I'm gonna paint that star and then I'm gonna use this brushed um, silver on that little star that I have. And you can find these little stars at all different craft stores. It's not uh, something that you can't find anywhere. You can find a better one than the one I found. And I'm just gonna hot glue the little teeny star right on top. And that will become like the center of this. It's a snowflake cork ornament. So now I need to cut all of my pieces. So around the ends, there's two of them and there's six pieces that stick out and then there are six more pieces in the center. So I'm hot gluing the two end pieces 
all of them together by themselves. And then I'm gonna hot glue that little circle in the middle that has the six there. So you need 12 of those pieces, roughly the same height. And once I get that center all glued in, then I will take all those little pairs of two and I will put them in between each of the intersections of the other ones. You see how that forms a snowflake? So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue that. And you can make your snowflake any shape you want. You could look up different pictures of snowflakes and try to figure out which one you like. I'm gonna put Mod Podge all over the top of this, and then I'm going to sprinkle my Epsom salts all over it. And that's gonna give it the look of snow. Now I won't make you watch me do the whole thing, so here I am just finishing that off. And then I kind of tap off the extra snow. Now I'm gonna hot glue the snowflakes that I had right on the top to cover that hole in the center. Isn't this cute? And then I'm gonna put some more Mod Podge on the snowflake and add a little bit of the Epsom salts on there. I figured that should have snow as well. Then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do everything that I did to the front except for that snowflake in the center to the back. Just gonna put that Mod Podge down and drop the Epsom salts and tap it off. Then I'm gonna take this cute little white ribbon and I'm just going to tie a knot and I'm gonna hot glue it right on to one of the points of the snowflake. I'm just gonna put it all on the side where I had that excess ribbon there. And then I will cut off the little extra pieces once I've hot glued it down and that's it. Super easy, it's beautiful, and it's gonna look so nice on the Christmas tree. And again, what a beautiful gift this would be. I love it. I've seen so many different kinds of snowflakes, but I like this one, it's really cute. I mean, there's a lot of wooden ones, but I like the cork, it's just a really cool texture. Uh, let me know if you've ever seen one like this. For this cork Christmas DIY, I've got 10 corks. I've got some of the red and black ribbon. I've got a really cute Baker's Twine red and white, and I've got a jot marker in the color red. Now, I'm going to color the two sides of half of these corks. So it's gonna be like every other one will have the red on the two sides. And there they are, all done. And now I'm just gonna start hot gluing them together. It's a candy cane, so the first part is just straight. And then when you get to about the fifth one, you start angling it in. So I have to keep it laying down like that so that I can see the angle. And just little by little, you just start making that little curvy part of the candy cane. Super, super easy. I mean, you guys, it just does not get much easier than this, but look how cute it is. Again, I would definitely use E6000 or super glue or something really permanent on this. I only use the hot glue side to go back in and you can see it and that's not what I would have normally wanted, especially if I was gonna give it away. Making another little awareness bow, wrapping twine around the center and tying it off and trimming it. And then I will just clip the edges at a little angle of my ribbon and then I will hot glue that right on the top of my candy cane. This is just so cute. And these ornaments are so rustic. I just think if you love rustic type things or your tree is like a little more old fashioned, I just think this would be adorable on there. So there's my little bow. And then I'm gonna take that red and white Baker's twine and I'm just gonna make a hanger. So I'm just gonna fold it in half, tie a knot, and then hot glue it to the top of my candy cane and it's just that easy. I just love that you can make them at all different sizes. They're so much fun. I hope that you will wanna try it. Let me know if this inspires you to wanna to try to create some. So inexpensive. And if you don't drink wine, I bet you could ask around and if you know others who do, they could save their corks for you. And here's one last look at all of them. There's my train. My favorite one is the train. You have to tell me your favorite. And there's the little candles. And then we've got our little Christmas tree and the snowflake, which is just so pretty. And then the candy cane again. I hope you guys enjoyed all of them. Don't forget to go down to the description box or the pinned comment and click on the playlist so you can watch all the amazing Christmas in July videos. I promise you won't want to miss them. Thank you so much for watching my video. I truly appreciate it. And I want you to know that you are a blessing to me. If you enjoyed this video, I've got more videos on the screen. Be sure to click one of them next and I'll see you there. Bye.